Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Sears. In our new book, Happy Baby, The Organic Guide to Baby's First 24 Months, co-authored by my friends at Happy Baby Organic Baby Food, I offer tips and hints on how to raise the happiest and healthiest babies. Here are just a few answers to questions that I hear in my office that you will see addressed in the book. There's a lot of confusion about how much sun exposure is good for a baby. I often laugh when I see new parents rushing from the, the store to their car carrying their baby but, but shading their baby with a blanket or with an umbrella or something because they, they feel that even 30 seconds of sunlight is going to harm their baby's skin. That's really not the case. You want babies to get these brief periods of sun exposure because it produces vitamin D in their system. So don't be afraid when your baby gets five to 10 minutes of sun exposure here and there. And I even encourage you to, to give your baby about 30 minute time periods of exposure during the mornings or the late afternoons so your baby can generate the vitamin D that she needs. By now you've probably heard about the dangers of plastic baby bottles. Clear plastic bottles made out of polycarbonate can contain a chemical called bisphenol A, or BPA. BPA is an endocrine disruptor, which means it can disrupt the production or the action of many hormones in baby's developing system. The FDA feels that the current level of BPA that babies are exposed to is harmless enough, but I'm not so sure. There's some research that shows even tiny amounts of BPA isn't good for developing babies. I encourage parents to look for clear plastic baby bottles that are labeled BPA free. Other ways you can avoid BPA is using glass baby bottles. You can also look for the label BPA free on any baby plastic bottles that you want to use. Everybody's talking about the importance of going organic and I couldn't agree more. Conventionally grown fruits and vegetables, meats and dairy products contain a lot of hormones and pesticides. These chemicals are not good for the growing and developing nervous system of young babies. I really encourage parents to choose organic fruits and vegetables, dairy products, meats and go as organic as you can, especially during the first few years of your baby's life. One of the challenges of choosing an organic diet is how can you do it affordably? Here are a few tips on how you can do it on a tight budget. Shop at a healthy grocery store. Healthy, natural grocery stores are more used to buying organic foods than conventional grocery stores, and they can do it at a slightly lower cost. Pick and choose what you're gonna buy organically and what you're gonna buy conventional. For example, there are a list of a dozen fruits and vegetables in our book that we call the Dirty Dozen. These dozen fruits and vegetables are the ones that contain the most pesticides and might be the most dangerous for your baby. On the other hand, we have what we call the clean 15. 15 fruits and vegetables that even if you don't buy them organically, they'll only contain very tiny traces of pesticides. For more answers to your questions, pick up a copy of Happy Baby, the organic guide to baby's first 24 months wherever books are sold.